Hello everybody. Today I am going to talk to you about your jaw. Specifically TMJ disorder or temporal mandibular joint disorder or as most people know it, wow my jaw is really tight and it hurts a lot. It hurts when I'm sleeping and when I'm biting on things. Sometimes this is because we've had dental work recently, but I would imagine there's more of this happening right now because people get stressed out. Part of that fight or flight response is clenching. Um, and we do it in our sleep. We do it when we're awake. We just have to kind of catch ourselves right now. So if this is you and you fall in this category, I want you to think of uh, the pain's really coming from the muscles that come over this joint region. So really we're talking about the masseter muscle and the medial and lateral pterygoid muscles. These are the chewing muscles or muscles of mastication is, is what they're called. Um, there are some tricks to helping you with this. And um, the first one I'm gonna show you is a stretch. So what I want you all to do at home is you're gonna take your jaw, keep it kind of loose and you're gonna pull it And when you pull it to one side, you're gonna feel the stretch happen right through here. You're gonna really feel it in that master muscle and the lateral pterygoid. And then you're gonna try it going the other way. Perhaps one of these directions was more painful than the other. So whatever felt more tight or you felt more of a stretch, I want you to take your jaw and push it again that way. Ready, we're gonna try it again the opposite way. That's gonna help loosen part of this up. Another thing you can do is when you catch yourself clenching like that, you're gonna take your tongue to the roof of your mouth like you're gonna say the letter N, and then you're gonna gently close your mouth and you're gonna notice you won't close it all the way. So it's gonna leave a little space here, but all the way through, even through your bite. So whenever you're catching yourself clenching throughout the day, I will really want you to try to make that, that um, tongue to the roof of your mouth sensation. It's not a stretch, it's just to give space in there to help relax. Another thing you can do is to really uh, tackle it from the fight or flight response. So, most likely you're starting to breathe up here in your neck and you're starting to take these little shallow scalene oriented breaths. So you're gonna take your hand and place it on your stomach here and you're gonna breathe into your stomach. So if I step back and give you a full screen version, your, your hand will be on your stomach here and you're gonna aim your breath there. So think of a big diaphragmatic belly breath. So take an inhale and exhale. Inhale. Really feel that belly push out and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last breath, inhale. And exhale. What that should give you is a sense of calm and really help turn on your parasympathetic nervous system, which will bring down the anxiety a little bit. Two more tricks for you. One is you've got these muscles that go this way. And as you turn your head, you can see mine pop out right there. That's called the sternocleidomastoid. It's just where it attaches. It is a muscle that can attach close enough to the upper cervical region that it can create some problems. And certainly when I'm working on people, this is an area of congestion, but you can turn your head to one side and just grab and kind of roll your fingers back and forth close to the insertion there and just start to release that muscle and start to work your way down that muscle. 
gives you something to fidget with while you um, are sitting at home. And then do the other side. Of course, now we have to be mindful right now that this is a time when we're told to wash our hands a lot and not touch our face. So before you do any of this self-care release stuff on your own head and face, please wash your hands for a minimum of 20 seconds. I usually wash longer and I go all the way up to my elbows and I'm in there for at least 30 to 40 seconds. So you can do it that way too. And then you know you're on the cleaner side, okay? So this is a nice way to relax some of the muscles that attach. The other thing is at the base of your head, the suboccipitals, you can rest with a block right there. I like to have it flat that way and you can kind of rub back and forth. You'd lie on your back on the floor. It's just, I can't do that while I'm on this video right now, but you're gonna rest on the floor with it and just kind of gently go back and forth. Set a timer that you're only there for about 30 seconds to a minute. And that'll help release some of the muscles in the back that also contribute to some of this jaw stuff because it's hard to isolate the jaw from the upper cervical region in terms of which one's causing the problems. Usually it's a little bit of both. Anyways, I hope this small short tutorial on your TMJ and how to relieve some of your symptoms at home was helpful. If you have any more video requests, please comment in the section below. And you can also send me an email, paula at alignptla.com. I look for more videos. I'm posting these daily and I look forward to seeing you guys online very soon. Thanks so much. Bye.